foster youth uh, raised by my grandmother who uh, at, at the right point in time came in to save us from being split up by the state. Uh, it was a great experience. Uh, my grandmother loved us dearly and despite the issues that my mom had uh, and despite where the state was at, she was always involved in our life. State Law and Policy Resource Center is a collaboration between the American Bar Association, Generations United, and Casey Family Programs. It's a national legal resource for relatives who are raising their children either inside or outside the child welfare system. It consists of training and technical assistance and most notably our website which is www.grandfamilies.org and on that website what we do is compile legal resources, legal analyses, personal stories about children who are being raised by relatives and the different issues that they face. Through this project we really hope to um, give people a better understanding of what kinship care is and all the different complicated legal issues that people face when they choose to raise uh, children as a relative, either a grandparent, aunt, an aunt, or an uncle. So we really hope to um, raise awareness of the different legal issues and give people some of the solutions and policies and share some best practices from states with regard to all the different issues that they face. Uh, the other thing we really hope to accomplish through this project is to give greater assistance to children being raised by relatives outside the child welfare system. The child welfare system does a pretty good job of supporting relatives who are raising children um, in foster care, but there aren't a lot of resources and assistance for those relatives, which are actually a majority of the relatives who are raising the children outside of the child welfare system. Currently, the foster care system tries to assist relatives with placement for of children in their homes. There's actually a federal preference for children to be placed with relatives and all the research shows that it's less traumatic and more stable for a child when they come into the foster care system to be placed with a relative. Depending on the state, some states require that the relative become a licensed foster care parent, much like any other foster parent, to raise their grandchildren, nieces, and nephews. Some states, however, do not require the licensing. Unfortunately, if you're not licensed, you usually don't get the financial assistance to help raise those children. With regard to the children outside of the foster care system, there's a whole continuum of different legal options that are available for relatives who want a legal relationship with their child. And the legal relationships from anywhere from adoption to custody to guardianship um, to consents and powers of attorney. One of the changes that we'd really like to see through this resource center is uh, the ability to support financially, legally, and otherwise, other, especially the relatives that we call in the informal system, those raising the children outside of the foster care system, to make those supports equal to um, children being raised within the system. Additionally, we'd like to make it easier for relatives who want to become a licensed foster parent to go through the licensing process and to be able to provide more homes for these children. I think that one of the greatest obstacles that we're trying to overcome is the concept that, two concepts really, that the apple doesn't fall far from the tree and why would you want to place with a relative and we're really struggling to overcome that. And also the idea that relatives should be raising these children without any kind of financial or um, social supports and both of which you know, are not true. We're really trying to um, see a change in not just policy, but the implementation of policy to make sure that people value placement of children with their relatives. So some of the barriers um, that we're really seeing with regard to kinship care is the licensing process. The licensing process can it's, it's put in place to make sure that children are in safe homes, but some of the requirements really don't apply for relatives. So taking a look at licensing through a different lens, looking at it through um, the eyes of the relative and what really needs to be put in place to make sure that it's a stable placement for the child is one of the, the biggest barriers. And another barrier, I think, is the um, understanding that relatives can be good caregivers um, and that they need those supports and trying to understand why they need the supports um, has been really a, a big challenge for this project is making sure that, that people understand the need to support relatives so the children don't have to be removed from those placements or don't have to come back, back into care if they're with the relative.
So I think, you know, talking about challenges, one of the biggest challenges is the understanding that children can be safe in a relative's home. And they don't need to meet the same criteria and standards of a non-relative's home. And that children are actually more stable in their placement when they are placed with a relative and therefore safer. You hear all kinds of stories about children leaving homes and running away from homes. You don't hear those kinds of stories when they're placed with a relative. So understanding that a good first placement and a stable placement, a state placement that's supported, a placement with a relative, will prevent children having disruptive placements and therefore increase safety for children. I believe that the Kin Relative Care Project is so important because it provides the same benefits to all foster parents, whether they're um, not related to the child or related.